Now, what? Uh, now in this example, ladies and gentlemen, um, again, we have the difference two squares. You guys can see now here I have a lot of trinomials. Now, if you guys remember, in the previous chapter, we went over a lot of solving quadratics, right? Factoring, 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 factoring. Um, and that's basically what we're going to be doing a lot again in this class. But here we're going to be doing that for our rational expressions. So when we're doing that for rational expressions, um, basically, ladies and gentlemen, again, what we need to get practice on is, again, factoring. So I'm not going to do the whole you know, write everything out again. Um, but I will, a lot of times, just kind of do the diamond because I do like to use the diamond to at least think through the problem on how to factor it. So in this upper left hand corner, I remember I do a times c and 2. What two numbers multiply to give me 1 and add to give me 2? Well, that one's pretty obvious, right? 1 and 1. So I can factor this as x plus 1 times x plus 1. And hopefully you guys will get to the point where you can do a lot of this in your head. In my denominator here, I have x squared minus 1. Again, that's a difference of two squares. x plus 1 times x minus 1. Over here, I have what two numbers multiply to give me 2, add to give me 3. Um, again, obviously, since they're multiplying to give you 2 and add to give you 3, those two values are going to be 2 and 1. Over here, what two numbers multiply to give you 4 and add to give you 4? That's going to be 2 and 2. So therefore, I have x plus 2, x plus 1 divided by x plus 2 times x plus 2. So now that I have this multiplied, notice, guys, everything is multiplied right now, correct? Everything. Everything is multiplied against each other. So now I can just divide out the terms that have common expressions. Okay. Therefore, I'm left with x plus 1 times x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 over x plus 2. Now, I cannot divide further these number, uh, further any of these problems, but I can write in my restrictions, which my restrictions of my original problem are x cannot equal plus or minus 1 and negative 2. 